How's that? No, yeah, it looks good. Yeah, try, try to pull it down a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Good. Cool. Um, so all of a sudden we have this huge influx of time, and the trick is, how do we use that time? The one-two punch of Netflix and HBO can carry you pretty far, but at some point either your back or your brain is gonna give out. So we need something to start feeling a little productive. So, you're trapped in your house too, huh? It's been kind of interesting because it's been sort of a test of how creative I can be within the confines of my house. So today, I'm gonna take you on a little journey of all of the things that my brother and I do basically every single day. So, my question to you guys is, what are you guys doing at home to stay sane? Mom, can you just uh, explain the rules of this game really quick? I can't explain the rules of the game very quickly, other than uh, we don't really have a kitchen, so it's not truly pickleball. I mean, the rules are pretty simple. You can only go for in for a volley once. If you don't put the ball away, you gotta run back and let the ball bounce. It's pretty simple as that. There's no need to demonstrate it. We don't really have a kitchen. That's not really the correct means. <laughs> Alright guys, leave it in the comment section if you guys there know you what go. a kitchen is. I have no idea. Let's go. I played tennis for like seven years. Yeah, well there is no kitchen in tennis. It's a totally different game. Oh, there it is. Jim's headed back up. Get him up. <laughs> no, it bounced. No, it did. It bounced and I hit a short one. Mom, thank you for demonstrating how to cheat. So, since I've been in quarantine and we're not able to practice on the beach, I've been putting a lot more of my energy into lifting weights. Been lifting six times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, upper body, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, even Saturdays, lower body. So since today is Wednesday, I'm going to take you through some of the things that I do for upper body with the limited supplies that I have here at my house. So every workout, regardless if it's an upper body day or a lower body day, I start off with a bunch of core and a bunch of shoulder rehab to try and help my shoulder out and also correct my posture.
One thing I forgot to say is one thing I always do before I work out, which I forgot to do this time, but one thing I always do before I work out, especially when upper body, roll out your chest and roll out your lats. If you have shoulder problems at all, this is a game changer, rolling out your lat and your chest. I think I've talked about it in other videos, but if I don't roll out my chest or my lat, I literally cannot swing, not even pepper for volleyball. But once I do this, a little sweaty. Once I do this, it's like my shoulder is brand new. This is honestly my least favorite and hardest part of a workout and I'm not using a single weight. Now time for the second part of my workout in my super ultra cluttered garage, but we do have a pull-up bar and we do have these pretty awesome dumbbells that I'll show you in a second. <laughs> what? That was that was Oh! Oh! 
right here. <laughs> Basically, if mom doesn't win the first point, it's a redo. No. <laughs> Every single time. I was time. supposed to serve. Whoever challenges, the challenger always serves first. trying to serve well, however you're serving. Play the serve, like I serve right to you. You're serving all just these people. <laughs> serve the last one, it's 4-1. 4-1, I'm going to get Jesus, the point. <laughs> Crutch play by you, Mom. <laughs> Very good, guys. <laughs> Oh my 
Just immediate regret. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear Dad start laughing too. <laughs> uh oh.